Congratulations to you on your election. Maybe I could start by introducing myself and my team. Um, here in UB for the last two years. This good Demir Kohl is the senior desk covering and deputy mission chief covering all issues. And uh, Pier Paolo Gripa is our financial sector expert looking after the banking sector as well. I'll tell you a little bit about the IMF uh, work that people do. It's a little bit of background is that uh, the IMF led program is uh, five and a half billion dollars for Mongolia. It is 20 times the size of the last program that we had in Mongolia. Mongolia has seen it in its own recent past. In 2011, growth was 17 percent. Soon after that, a few years later, growth was almost nothing. So to us at the IMF, now is the time. Now is the time when strong political leadership is needed to make sure that fiscal policy, the monetary policy, exchange rate policy, and all these structural reforms are done in a strong way, in an economically sound way. Mm -hmm. Revenues, fiscal revenues are strong now. Don't spend them all. Save something for a rainy day. Things may change tomorrow. Money is flowing into the economy. Make sure to build reserves at the central bank now. Things can change tomorrow. Thank you. 
Of course, your country needs to diversify, not just geographically, the destination market, but also products, and within products, move up to the value chain. Of course, how can an economist disagree with that? You mentioned leather and Kashmir. Uh, to me, the more obvious ones to focus on are meat. You've got 60 million head of livestock. The potential for meat exports is immense. You've got amazing quality of dairy products here that you could export. And tourism. How many tourists do you get? 500,000 a year? Very small number. Uh, there's immense uh, potential to expand in that area. And the fact is, this country of just 3 million people has mineral reserves of maybe $3 trillion underground. And the fact is, you are sitting in between two huge economies, and the one to the south in particular, growing extremely fast. It's going to be naturally, it's going to be an export market for you. If the government runs up a huge debt and spends a lot of money, it has to finance it somehow. Interest rates are going to go up and your business will be no business can survive.